Hey, what's going on? Shane with the 5 to 9 Creator. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to use a voiceover track on top of a music track to make sure that you can still hear your voice, but also hear that cool music in the background. We're going to partially be working on this together in a way because this is my first time doing this within CapCut. I've done it in Premiere Pro. I've done it in a couple of other softwares, uh, but I've never done it in CapCut. I'm sure it's pretty similar, but we're going to find out together. All right. So the first thing that I want to do, regardless of what program I'm working in, is I want to record the voiceover first. So the first thing I have to do is go over to this little microphone where it's going to say record. And I basically have to record what I want my vo voiceover to be. This can be a script. This can be you just talking. It doesn't matter. Uh, all you have to do is hit record and you're going to see this little window pop up and it's going to say, hey, you know, what microphone do you want to use? What volume do you want it to be? Do you want to have echo reduction for any reason? And then do you want to mute the project? Meaning that if you have music and other audio, if you hit this button where it says mute project, it's going to mute everything else for you. So you technically could put music in before you do um, the voiceover if you want to, but it, there's, it's totally up to you. It doesn't matter. All right. When you're ready to go, big red button going to do a little countdown. This is me recording a voiceover in CapCut. I'm going to put some music behind this. Maybe I'll make it sound really goofy. Maybe I'll make it sound really cool. Maybe I'll make it sound epic. I guess we'll find out because I have not picked ahead what kind of music I want. That's the end of the voiceover. All right, so you just recorded your voiceover. Now you can get rid of all this other stuff. Now I might want to come here to the front and trim this up a bit because there's a little bit of a pause before I talk. And I always recommend that you pause for at least three seconds before you record anything because it just makes it easier to find the trim spots. Now, one thing I really wish CapCut would do is allow you to make the audio tracks or the video tracks taller so it's easier to see these little wavelengths, but they still haven't done that. So we're going to have to kind of just hope that this is going to be big enough to see because usually I like to make my my audio timeline really big. So it's very obvious where audio starts and stops. Anyway, I'm gonna find the dead zones where I'm not saying anything, and I'm gonna cut those out. Now to cut that out, I'm using a technique I did in one of my other videos. I'll post it up here if you wanna watch it, but I basically go through how to use the um, Q, W, and E key to very quickly edit your videos. All right, so I'm cutting out the silences. I'm just cutting out the big silences. I don't need to do every little breath that I take. Now I'm going to pick something that I want to put as my music. Now I usually just use CapCut's music because for the most part you can see that they're uh, run a copyright check before posting to TikTok. So that's really cool. So I can pick any of these audios. Yeah, I can run any of these audios and I all I have to do is copyright check and then once it clears, I'm good. You can also pick from commercial. Okay, perfect. This is the perfect audio for my voiceover. All right, so now comes the fun part, which is what do I set my volume at for my music and what do I set my volume at for my voiceover? So I recommend that you leave your volume for your voiceover where it is and then first lower your music. And I usually like to start with about negative 20 and just see where that where that goes. And then I just go up and down based on that. So let's listen to that really quick. All right, so to me, the music still feels like it's a little louder than the voice. So I'm gonna decrease this to negative 25 and listen to it again. So. You could leave it at that. I, from my personal taste, I think this is music still too loud. It needs to be noticeable, but not pronounced uh, in my videos. That's just the way I like it. So I'm gonna go to negative 30. So when I think of how my audio stacks up, I want my voice to be at the front. I want it to be the most obvious sound and the easiest to hear. I want the music in the background to, to basically fill the space of silence. I don't necessarily want it to be too big a part of my voiceover because then it's messing with my my audio your background music should make people feel something and then your voiceover should make people think so they're feeling and thinking at the same time which makes the experience a lot more powerful but that's how i mix music and voiceovers in my videos or if i just have talking in my videos that's how i mix audio now if i wanted this to fade we can do this in another video, but we can also talk about fading in, fading out music as scenes change in your video. If you want to see that video on how to fade music in and out, like in a vlog, or maybe you're doing some sort of uh, you know tutorial, whatever it is, put a comment in the section, put a comment in the comment section down below, letting me know that's a video you want to see. And then if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more CapCut tutorials, I did a whole beginner guide that's 
extremely comprehensive. It's like 32 straight minutes of me just breaking down everything in CapCut. I've been told it's the only video as a CapCut PC beginner that you need to watch. Not my words, that's somebody left a comment. I appreciate that nice comment. That's it for me. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you again soon.